Wow. That, that's, like, that's a bum deal, 360. What are you talking about? You want to encompass everything? So, okay, so then it's not about you then. Mm -mm. All right, so what are we talking about? 360 and what? <laughs> Crap, and I'm like, wow. And they're getting a lot of they getting a lot of young artists with those those deals. They're getting a lot of them because they, like I said, they 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 see the TV, they see the videos, they get mesmerized, and they don't think about the business side of it. You know, I know there's a lot of artists that I know that don't even have an ASCAP card or a BMI card. Yeah. They don't know. They ain't never heard of it. I said, you got an ASCAP? Like, what's that? I'm like, how long you been doing this? Oh, about like six years. I was like, you got all this music out and you don't have... I was like, are you serious? You know? Yeah, right. That's crazy. I even had a... I, even, I was in a group. I'm not going to mention the name. Um, And we was on Video Music Box. We did shows at Nitten Factory. We opened up for uh, the, the far You said Video Box? Video Music Box? Yeah, Video Music Box. Yeah, I remember the name. That was hot. Yeah. And um, apparently, the, my partner... And I didn't know about this. I didn't know about the business like that. Um, apparently the album was, was the album was selling, but I wasn't getting none of my credit. And an associate an associate of mine looked it up with the ASCAP because he he helped me out with the ASCAP. He got me my publishing and my writer's ASCAP, right? And I, I talked to my partner that I was in, I was in the group with, and he's like, "Oh, don't get your publishing. You don't need that. You, don't need that. you know." So, so basically, he was jerking me, and you know, it was real nasty. You know, when, 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 you know, my business associate uh, let me know what was really going on. And, and a wow. lot of these artists don't know what's going on. They, like, you know, I, I talk to a lot of these young artists, and I'm like, you know, like, you got to get this and that. Oh, I don't want to do that, because now you get an ASCAP or BMI, it's like a hundred and something dollars now. Before, when I got it, it was free. Yeah, no, because they all want to make money now, uh, even more, because they're not getting it from the Monopoly. When they were a Monopoly, they got their money from Wall Street. They could just go to Wall Street and, hey, I want to sign her, him, those people, these people, and they can stand to make at least 300000 500000 all of them. So they like, okay, cool, Here, here's a million for them all. And then they take that money. And then they were putting it in themselves, you see. Now it's not being given anymore. But they're used to getting that extra, so now they need extra from you in order for them to even have something. They gotta get it from you. So, to me, you take. That means you sunk already. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go with you. You're in the water. Yep. I'd rather go with some little kid or, or somebody that's doing something and they're doing it all another way. They wanna do it on their own. You know, they don't even want no part of you because you're weird to them. You try to make them do weird things. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, we know about all of that stuff, too. So it's like, come on, man. You guys are ratchet. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Taking yeah, money, ratchet. Uh, yeah. being ratchet. <laughs> A lot and of then ratchets. now they want 360. Like, ah, ah, I don't want you. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's, it, you know it's so it's so it's so bad with the, with the business side of the the industry. Well, and overall, like not only music industry, like the business industry in America, is really is really bad. Like you know who has the best? Um, well, I've heard one of the best uh, business industries in the world is Germany. Yeah, Germany. Mm -hmm. And they and they laughing at us. They laughing at us. They like they like yeah yeah. I don't know how to do business. Like what's wrong, y'all? And the second, and, yeah, and I, I looked up, I looked up Germany. another piece. Uh -huh. I went to Germany. Yeah. Uh, I was, I lived there for two years, actually. Oh, nice. And I went there to just do some music for uh, this girl that they, they're so interested in having number one hits, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they were into. And this girl got to the top 13 or something that she was from America and I knew her. So they asked me to come out there and do some work. I did like five songs for her I mean, to get her up there. And, uh, what I found in Germany while I was there, it was just not easy, man. I did like, I made crazy money from just doing shows that I could never be able to do here. You know, they'd laugh at me if I asked for that amount. <laughs> Out here, you know, they'd be cracking up and be like, okay, you want $3,000 to perform in front of me. Yeah, right? And all you're going to do is sing 
on so good instrumental. You don't got nobody else up here. It's just somebody's going to play the record and you're going to sing it. That's what I was doing out there, man. Making a mad bank. It's crazy. Wow. Well, but they were into it because they were like, oh, we didn't ever even see you doing it. We we see videos, maybe. It, if some people have uh, certain uh, frequencies, you see that. If not, no, because everything was later. It always was pushed later to them. I'm like, wow. <laughs> it was crazy, man. I had so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, man, we'll pay you 10,000 euro, which is like, I don't know, 13,000, wow. you know, to, to, if you just do 16 bars of so good with Raekwon when he comes here. <laughs> so they already paid Raekwon 10 G's to come there. <laughs> wow. So everybody was going to think it was crazy, man. I mean, it's like, yeah, you know, wow, thanks. This is what I'm talking about, right? Instead of just like, uh, can you take fifty dollars? Like, you know what I mean? And then you're doing it with people eating chicken and talking all loud and smoking in front of your fucking face. That's America. So I was like, ah, yes, I'll do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was mad cool up here, <laughs> and they respect and understand music, uh, and they they're about taking it too. And that's something that I had to uncover for them, though. And I was like, hey, but you can't just take America's music, man. And yeah. That's not nice, man. I mean, I'm hearing my songs that I know I played the bass lines. I play that. So, and I'm hearing my work on somebody else's song, and they're speaking German. And I'm like, hello, what are you doing? Yeah, it's and so they're like, they're like uh, you can take it from BMI and ASCAP and all of that. And when I found that out, I was like, oh, wait a minute, hold up. What? <laughs> so BMI, if you look, you ask other BMI, look on the back of all of that stuff. That country is a certain part of Germany. It's not every part of Germany, and that's where they get you. Like Berlin don't have no villains with BMI. They don't care. They don't take anybody's stuff. BMI and ask, they don't care about that. What you going to do? This guy made millions over there on my song in the background. I can't do nothing about it. Wow. Unless I sign with them over there to do something. And then they go after everything else. So I'm like, that's the way to do it. <laughs> well, let's go. I'm telling you. It's nuts out there, but it was wonderful. Business-wise, it was just, it was beautiful. We had fun. When people come over there, like I met Ghostface for the first time in 2009. We've been here and everybody's knowing and working with each other since 98. And I'm just now meeting this man in a whole other country. <laughs> and I end up helping him because the German girl was back there and she's talking to him. He was like, get her out of here. He, he thought, because their language is pretty harsh, the way it sounds, you know? Yeah. And so he thought that she was cussing them out. He was like, get this chick out of here. And then I told him, I pulled him close, I said, hey, look here, man. Uh, I know a little Jeremy, I've been here for two years now, so uh, she wasn't dissing you at all. She was saying she wanted to come home with you and bring her friends, man. He said, what? Oh, wow. you know? <laughs> he to go back. Wow. It was crazy. It's, it's it was juicy. so funny. We had a glass out there, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> of course, they looked up and he was like, yo, take my number, bitch. <laughs> we got to hook up. It was mad cool. But it was like, it was insane that, you know, I told him that I actually wanted him on my record instead of Ray on. And that was my choice as an artist. I was like, okay, well, who you want? I was like, I'm Tony Starks. And they were like, uh, no, you can't. Uh, no, you're part of this label. Come on, pick anybody else oh, in here. Oh. oh, okay, I see. Yeah, Riz and everybody else wants to. Come on, pick one of these. I was like, I can't hear what Riz is saying, though. No. I love what he does, man. That guy is crazy with his beats and he's crazy with his creativity, yeah? But his diction, I mean, I'm about diction and it's an R&B song. So I like to hear. I couldn't hear him, man. And I was like, nah, man, I can't. I can't. I don't hear him. 
I like Raekwon. I really do. Yeah. But some of the swing I wasn't into. That's why the 16 bars was cut out. Because I was like, oh, bro, I can't. you talking all this stuff I don't even know. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. You could be cussing me out on my own record, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting paid already, man. Just take the money. You know, I, I take that off. I don't want to hear that. But then later on, when I'm, I'm getting to know a lot of stuff, like, uh, you know, I didn't even know that XOXO mean I love you crap. You know, I don't know all that stupid stuff yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I find out later, I was like, oh, that's what you was doing. Oh, okay. Well, shoot, I hope you don't mind. I'll put that out later. He was like, no problem. So that's going to be cool. Uh, yeah, you know, like it's like um, because a lot, you know, a lot of people like uh don't understand the slang, you know, because they not, they not, you know, they not, they know about the, the they don't know about the streets, so. Right, I was in the so, school, church, yeah. home, school, church, home. That was it. <laughs> I didn't go nowhere else. I didn't. I didn't know all of this stuff. I just didn't. So I'm like, what is this guy talking about? Is he cussing me out? <laughs> <laughs> it was something else, man. but you know, I had a blast. Um, um, and what's fueling me even more now is to take my knowledge that I know and just help people. You know, that's inspired to do that. You know, I don't want to help people that's just sitting on a tail and want somebody to do it for them. Yeah. Think you know they owe you or something. Get out of here. Yeah, really? a lot of people like that. A lot of people like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people they want to ride the coattails, you know. They want to help you out in the struggle, but then when you when you reach the goal, they want to be like, "Hey, what's up?" A lot of people like that. It's sad. It's sad. It's real sad, you know. But um, yo, we chopped it up. I'm glad that you shared your experiences, you know, inspiring stories to me personally and to the audience of RealVisionRadio.com. But before I let you go. Can you give everybody your info, email, etc. Okay, well, you know, um, Demeanor Music um, for all of the Instagram stuff. Um, it's the same, I think, for Facebook is Demeanor Bussy, E U S S E Y. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, what you say, my email? Yeah, your email. Okay, I the Vina Music at Gmail. All right, that's what's up. Davina in the building on the Ash Show because of Mr. Brett Show on www.realvisionradio.com. You are more than welcome to come on anytime you want. You know, you're like family, you know. Awesome. We, we definitely going to connect later on. Um, I'm going to hit you up later on this week so we can talk and build. Um, cause like I said, I'm an artist, so I do need some some R and B singers on my tracks. Bro, I got a studio in Brooklyn, then come through. Yeah, I heard that, right? Yeah, I heard that. It's on tape. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> she she confirmed it, so it's on. All right. So <laughs> you have a lovely Sunday, and I will talk to you later. Okay, thanks. All right. All right. It's awesome to be with this. <laughs> nice. Thank you. All right. All right. Peace, man. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Wow, that was awesome. That was, I told you, I told you that interview is going to be epic. And it was epic. Like I said, I called it. I'm, I'm calling my shots like Tom Brady that's winning right now, baby. Beating the Panthers. Is it the Panthers? Or the Jaguars? No, I think it's the Jaguars. Whooping their ass. That's right. That's right. I'm multitasking. I watch football, I do the interviews, I play the radio show, yeah, and I also rhyme too. www.realvisionradio.com, the Ash Hawkins and Mr. Brett show. I'm going to try to load up some music real quick. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. I'm trying to load up some music. Hold up, hold up. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yo, I'm going to play some couple of tunes before we out. Keep tuning in to the Ash Hawkins and Mr. Brett Show on www.realvisionradio.com, Real Independent Media Group. Yeah.